Welcome to Linear Algebra series and uh, in this video we are going to continue with question number two. Uh, if you are joining us, you can watch the previous video where we deal with uh, the first question uh, on uh, how to uh, find the matrix representation uh, of G to base S uh, in relative to S. Uh, in this video, we want to tackle this question number two and uh, question number two uh, says that uh, given T uh, in R dimension, that is in R, uh, that means it is having two dimension, R uh, to the power 2, uh, such that uh, T x1 and x2 is given by x1, x2 and 3 x1. So we are to determine uh, whether T is a linear transformation whether t is a linear transformation. In a way, uh, we are simply need to show or to prove that uh, this t is a linear transformation. Of course, t is given in terms of x1 and uh, x2. So you can follow through to see how you can prove uh, that this t is linear transformation. Of course, at the end of the video, uh, you should be able to determine whether it is a linear transformation or not. I remain your friend, Galagash. So generally this is the question we are given. Uh, phi as uh, a two dimension that is uh, it is represented in the form of x1 and x2 which is equal to x1 plus x2 plus 3x1. So we are to determine whether t is a linear transformation. Uh, so uh, determining whether t is a linear transformation since we have uh, x1 and x2 and uh, we also have x1, x2 and 3x1. So let us say that uh, we have a1 and a2 a1 and a2 remember what we are trying to prove is that t is a linear transformation and uh, we also have a3 a4 because uh, we are, we know that this is equal to a1 x1 x2 uh, but we have 3 x1 but since we are having two variables that is x1 and x2 so let us also have uh, a3 and a4 a3 a4 a3, A4, good. And this A1, A2, A3, A4 is a member, uh, this sign we say that it is a member of R2. Uh, this is where pure mathematics, it comes in in linear algebra, trying to prove uh, that a function is true or say uh, proving that a particular theorem uh, is actually true or that it exists. So this uh, shows that it is a member of R2 and uh, if it is a member of R2 then we can say that T uh, which we are trying to prove as a linear combination when we put into A1 and then uh, A2 we put it into A1 and A2 uh, plus T into A3 and A4 a3 and a4 if you do this you will end up with uh, a1 plus a2 uh, then uh, we have uh, 3 uh, a1 3 a1 because we have a1 uh, we have a4 we have a1 we have a2 so we have 3 a1 because remember here we have uh, 3 x1 and this will be added by uh, we'll have uh, a1 uh, let's say that we have a1 a2 a1 a2 and uh, this can be added uh, in form of the basis and add a3 a4 a3 a4 in the form of basis so that uh, you will have uh, a1 plus a3 uh, plus uh, a2 plus a2 plus now a4 plus a4 then we will have 3 because remember we have 3 here so it will be 3 into uh, a1 plus a3 a1 plus a3 uh, so t T therefore will be, uh, let's say that uh, T here, 
Uh, just a minute. Uh, so we are proving this. Uh, here we have a1 plus a2 a 3a1 3a1 plus uh, before this let's get rid of this uh, before this we sh let's get rid of this first sometimes you can make mistake when you are trying to prove this that's why you have to pay attention to every details so this is supposed to be plus uh, we have a3 plus a4 a3 plus a4 opening up this as a member a4 uh, and then we still have uh, a3 uh, into 3 a3 into 3 and this will give us now a1 uh, plus a3 plus a2 plus a4 a4 then we will have 3 into a1 plus a3 a3 uh, of course um, this uh, will give us t we will now have t in times of a a1 a2 we have a1 a2 then we have uh, plus a3 a4 a3 a4 and this will give us t in terms of a1 a2 uh, plus a3 plus a4 so that we have t a1 plus a3 then we have a2 plus a4 okay Remember, our target is to prove that this is a linear combination and uh, we are getting there because uh, if you observe, uh, we have this T in two dimensions and uh, we've shown that A1, A2, A3 and A4 is a member of this R squared because uh, we technically uh, need to assume that this is a member and if there are members then we have to work with them in times of t because we are looking at t as linear combinations so that's why we now multiply each of these terms with t and when we do that we simply have a1 plus a2 plus 3 a1 that we have here and this will also be plus a1 a3 plus a4 because remember here uh, this is the uh, x1 which represented a3 and we have x2 which represented a4 that's why we have a3 plus a4 and a3 into 3 a3 into 3 uh, what this simply means is that 3 x1 if you multiply that you simply get that so that you simply have a1 plus a3 plus a2 plus a4 one uh, into 3 by a1 by a3 so that we have a1 a2 plus a3 a4 so put t outside so that we use them as linear combination so that we simply get t into a1 plus a3 if a2 and then we have a4 but this is not the end we have to continue in order to show that indeed this is a linear transformation so let me get rid of some of these good so now what we will have in this case will simply be equal to we'll have uh, a1 we'll simply have a1 plus a2 uh, plus a3 uh, plus a4 like we have here and then when you open up what we had that I cleaned that was a free a1 uh, plus a3 this is into bracket uh, we can close this with a bigger bracket so that this can give us a1 uh, plus a3 plus a3 plus a2 plus a4 plus a4 in uh, into uh, we also have 3 into a1 plus a3 
a tree. So phi, therefore, will simply be given in like a1, a2, a1, a2, and t is also in terms of a3, a4, a3, a4. So we can now let, we can now let, let me change the color, we can let, change the color, let's let uh, x to be a member of r, then if x is a member of r, then we said that uh, uh, introducing k as a constant, we can have kt uh, to be a1 and then a2, a1 and then a2. Uh, this will implies that uh, k in this case uh, will be given by a1 plus a2 uh, into 3a to 3a. So we say that t is uh, going to be t is going to be based simply before this for more explanation. Let's have Let's have k into this give us k a plus k into this will be k a two. It is k a two. K into this will be simply three k a one. K a one. So now let's get rid of this and try to summarize. This can give us, this will be equal to T into KA, into KA and KA2. So what we have shown is that T is a combination of whatever we had in X1, X2, and 3X1. So we can therefore say that T is a linear transformation. And uh, you are good to go. Of course, all we were trying to do this while is to show that phi is a linear transformation. So in general, when we talk about uh, linear transformation in um, uh linear algebra uh it is all about a linear map or is a kind of mapping between two vector spaces that uh preserves uh, the operations of vector addition and scalar multiplications and if i can ask you how do you tell that uh, a function given let's say f of x is a linear transformation you can say that by uh, we can say it is simple enough to identify whether or not a given function uh, is a linear transformation you simply need to look at uh, uh, each term of each component of that function f of x so if each of the uh, terms is a number one a number a number terms uh, component then f is a linear transformation that is to say if you multiply that number uh, you will simply get the same thing like here we see if you multiply t into this you will simply get this so that's why we conclude by saying that t is a linear combination a kind of a linear transformation so you can watch the video again in order to get the concept and try to follow through in order to see how you can prove this uh, this is just like uh, reanalysis. Reanalysis is another mathematics that is pure, uh, pure math, uh, uh, not like an applied math. So here we deal with showing that a function exists. A function is true. A function is not true. See you in our next video. I remain your friend, Galagash.